employees want to learn before they're like, no. Their attention span has increased. They stick with the activity longer than 10 minutes. Like that's huge. I mean, before it'd be like maybe two, three minutes to hear my kids invite me to do something with them, to interact with them. That was like the best feeling. I see so much potential. One of the greatest strengths of what I'm seeing here is the adaptability. So in other words, the technology that you're able to bring together can not only provide a calming environment when it's needed, but that same technology can adapt and provide a very focused or a more excitatory type of environment. The games were actually really innovative. Um, I've never seen anything like that before, at least like in a pop-up style, you know, where you can kind of set it up and kind of let, let them go for it. Um, I thought that the, the interactivity of the activities were really good, like um, with things moving around spatially, working on their timing and things like that, um, and seeing the success of being able to like maybe hit the bugs on the bug squash game or when they're doing some of the excavation activities in the sandbox, being able to see um, that their actions are actually making things happen. And so it, um, it's like reinforcing for them to keep going, you know. I saw one particular student of mine who is very sensorial. She um, doesn't allow her people to touch her hair, things like that. She gets very overstimulated, very easy. And she was able to play with the sand pit. She loved the sand pit. Um, she, you know, identified, there was this one game where the balloons had different colors and she was able to identify the colors and then she had to pop the balloons. There was another one with the numbers. She was able to, you know, tell me one, two, three, but also use her hands um, because this particular student always has her hands like this. Um, so she really enjoyed it. I did see a change in, from when she first got there to after. Um, I saw after we finished, she actually was playing on the like sitting down on the floor she wanted to touch the different materials and different things um, so it really really opened her up um, so that was incredible um, you know our kids need more more things like that to get them more engaged um, and more focused and just you know to better themselves not even just academics but socially and you know it's just it really with her in particular really I saw a big difference. My name is Natalia and I'm autism mom. I have a son he just actually turned eight years old and he's on the spectrum so he has autism he has ADHD and OCD um, so when obviously when we find out about you guys to me it was just wow. I'm a biggest fan of um, reflexes and, and baby um, uh, baby reflexes, the one that has been not integrated. So um, my biggest go-to is make those games or more um, for integration process. So let's say if the Mora reflex is not integrated or Gallant reflex or fear paralysis, which is great, it's like a huge deal. Um, we can adapt those games and make the kids do the moves that will help uh, their reflex integration process. I think that's going to be huge. So um, the nonverbal child, um, they were here using the interactive method. They're to the twins. They're both autistic. One is verbal, one is nonverbal. And she was there popping the balloon and the sister was saying pop, pop, pop. And then she started saying pop, pop, pop. And then that was here with them and that called the mom and they were like tear, tearing up like she said her first words, she said her first words, pop. We have therapists who come in yes, with their do. clients and use these equipments. Amazing. Yes, so the sand is always a hit with everyone. Yeah, so the therapists, they use the sand. <laughs> and if they request, we take all the floor mats for them also. My son, Dustin, was able to identify different shapes or the numbers or letters. That's been really exciting to see him starting to visually recognize, oh, that's green ball. Oh, that's a green, you know, or that's a red um, umbrella, you know, just different things. Uh, Christopher, with math, learning how to do um, addition and subtracting, he couldn't do that before. Now, through the games, he is. He's learning. He gets so excited every time he gets a star. Andrew is paying attention and wanting to, you know, interact and, you know, like with the, how you could create, um, with the uh, sand table um, volcanoes and different things and he's learning about 
you know, the volcanoes and the rainforest, and we're talking about it and, you know, interacting in that way, it helps calm them down. They are interacting with myself and my husband or their siblings, accomplished, but like, this is fun, wow, you know, like, come play with me. That was huge. And when they get that sense of pride when they, uh, you know, mastered a task on the game and they get that star, their face lights up. Mm -hmm. And they feel good about themselves. It's like, I can do this. What else can I do? That, that's just incredible. I was skeptical. Is this just a waste of money? Is this going to work? I was worried. And I took a chance and I am so glad I did. It was probably one of the better choices I've made for my family. And that is gonna be such a blessing to my boys.